Hello, this is Gerard from Creative PowerPoint. Today, let's add animated 3D characters into our PowerPoint slides. Our first example is this man walking along this road. You could customize this scene by animating objects on the side of the road. Our second example is this shopping mall scene with four animated characters. Sounds cool! Let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. If you are a regular follower of my channel, you probably know that we can insert 3D models in PowerPoint. If you have a 3D model file, go to the Insert ribbon, click on the 3D model drop-down and select the 3D model you want to insert from. I'll explain later where I got this 3D model from, for now I'll go ahead and insert it. As you can see, PowerPoint shows the animated 3D model in the slide, and you can rotate it in 3D space. So I created the first scene by adding the walking man on top of a video. For the second scene, I added my four characters on top of a still image and applied to the walking characters some path and shrink animations. And now the question is, how can we get 3D models like that? Today, I'm going to walk you through the use of a service called Mixamo. Mixamo is an Adobe-owned company, and right now, you can use their services completely for free. And by the way, if you like this video, I'd appreciate if you could hit the like button. Thank you. Go to Mixamo.com and sign up to create an Adobe ID. Here, I already have one. Once you're connected, you can browse for characters. I'm looking for a character named Joe. I can use the search box to filter by name or characteristics. As I'm selecting him, I see him appearing in the right panel in a neutral T pose. I can click on Find Animations on the right hand side of the screen and various animations will appear. The animations on blue mannequins are animations specially made for men and the animations on pink mannequins are made for women. If I click on an animation, I can preview the animation applied on my character. I'm not interested in this very animation, but I want a walk cycle instead. I'll type walking in the search bar and select a walk animation. I can see on the right hand side some cursors and checkboxes to customize the animation. The first thing I need to do is to tick the in place checkbox. The character is now walking in place and we need to add path animations in PowerPoint to give the impression of movement. I can move the overdrive parameter to customize the pace of walk. The character arm space cursor allows to customize whether the arms are close or far away from the body. Some values may be invalid from a physics perspective, just experiment and find values that work for you. You don't need to touch the trim time frame. The default value is good, it selects 50 frames which correspond to a complete walk cycle. Once you're happy with the result, you can click on download to get the model file on your computer. You can customize the file format, I recommend you keep the default FBX binary, which works well in PowerPoint. You can customize the frames per second, 30 also works well with PowerPoint. To use the model in PowerPoint, leave the With Kin option selected. You can also tick keyframe reduction to reduce the size of your file. Experiment with this parameter if you encounter performance issues. Now click on Download. Once you've downloaded the file, you can insert it into your PowerPoint slides, but you need to pay attention to two caveats first. The first caveat is that PowerPoint can lag a lot on 3D animations, so if your computer struggles, you can try to export your slides as a video and use exported video in your final slides instead of the 3D models. The second caveat is that the PowerPoint render engine will not be able to show properly all details on the model, especially the eyes, which are scary. I think this is due to the way PowerPoint forces its slide sources and interprets material properties. I haven't found yet a way to work around this limitation, so if possible, try to set up your compositions so that these defects are not visible. You're now ready to make your own fantastic 3D character animation in PowerPoint. For another creative PowerPoint idea, you can have a look at this video. I'll see you soon. Bye bye!